welcome to my channel, you guys. This is your September reading for 2021. This reading will not resonate with everyone. Unfortunately, it's a general reading, you guys. Um, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, I tend to pick up on the people energy who uh, engage with me, who like my videos, who comment and I engage with them. I tend to pick up on their energy, but who knows? I could pick up on y'all, maybe, you know, so we're going to see. Um, definitely, you guys, all these messages might not resonate with you. So like I said, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to pull some oracle cards from my oracle deck, the Fly Empress Oracle. And we're going to see what's coming out. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces for the month of September? Divine Holy Spirit, Ancestors and Spirit Gods. Okay, we got Virgo coming up, you guys. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this says... Analytical, creative, helpful, modest, responsible, faithful, calmness, critical, critical thinking, um, patience, and reliable. <clears throat> so some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Virgo, or you guys are going to be embodying this energy for this month. All right, so, oof. all right. So we got the lover's card coming out in the reverse, y'all. This is Gemini energy, and this says this harmony, trust issues, imbalance, conflict, disunion, um, detach, and lack count accountability. And the other card says U-turn, turn around, don't drown, roadblock, wrong way, obstacles, dead end, disaster, bad choice, go back. And we also got the throat chakra coming out here in the reverse. This says lies, shy, weak, fear of speaking, arrogance, unable to listen, hearing or throat issues. So I definitely feel like you or somebody around you could be very stubborn. Somebody is very sad in their ways. This person is refusing to um this person is refusing to learn a lesson here. Okay. And I feel like a lot of you guys you're just focusing on bringing balance and peace into your life okay i i feel like more of a mind over heart energy for some of you guys you could really care about someone here but you feel like this person is on the wrong path all right and you also feel like you can't trust this person because this person has always did things to make you not trust them okay yeah. <clears throat> so somebody could be wanting to come towards you this month. Someone that you have already dealt with. This person, they, they don't take responsibility for their life, though. This person, they lack accountability. I just heard an easy way out. This person could look at you as being very successful, you guys. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are going to be embodying this energy this month. And Beyonce, you know, she she don't play, especially when it comes towards business and her career and what she do. Okay. Spirit, what else? What's going on with the Pisces this month? What's going on with the Pisces? Oh, yeah, we got Aries popping out here. We got spontaneous fiery bold independent competitive passionate brave optimistical self-assured and concentrated we got motivated and confidence so i definitely feel like y'all <laughs> y'all gonna be embodying a lot of this energy this month for some of you guys you can have placements in aries and virgo like your moon sign could be one of these or your your uh rising sign your venus sign you guys this is a lot of powerful energy here i definitely feel like you're going to be focusing on your career and what it is that you want to bring into your life for some of y'all y'all doing this stuff alone like you could be doing you could be working on something in solitude but i do see you guys thinking outside the box 
And it's like you're going after what you want. Okay? <clears throat> like I said, there could be somebody who's wanting to make a return in your life. But you feel like this person is like a... I just heard natural disaster. So this person could could cause a lot of havoc wherever they go. This person left a bad taste in your mouth. It was a lot of conflict between you two. A lot of imbalance. A lot of disharmony. I feel like um, things wasn't fair in the past. This person could have left you with all of the responsibility. Especially if you have kids with this person. Spirit, what else? What's going on with the Pisces? <clears throat> all right y'all so we got inner childhood wounding this says abandonment issues get angry quick struggle to let go insecure abuse repressed emotions loss divorce afraid of getting hurt low self-worth all right so you guys you could be dealing with someone like this This person can become very upset or aggressive when they don't get their way. Yes, but they're not balanced. It's like they haven't been working on themselves. All right, this person is wanting to come back into your life, but they're not healed. They, this person is not healed. For some of you guys... <clears throat> You could have been str struggling with abandonment issues, all right? You feel like the people that are supposed to have your back, they never dare. Or you could always have a person back, but when you need them, they not dare, all right? For some of you guys, your emotions have been like up and down. I feel like you've been having periods where you're happy and it's been other moments in your, your life you, you feel very angry or upset. <clears throat> the way that things turned out. You can have a lot of re repressed emotions when it comes towards this person as well. Or re regarding people that you love, abandoning you, or walking out of your life. You feel like, I'm feeling somebody who's alone or feel alone. Someone could be very insecure here. And this person suffered from trust issues because they've been played before in the past. Okay? For some of you guys, you are choosing your mind over your heart because you have been hurt so much in your life. Okay? You don't trust people because people have been running in and out of your life. And it's like none of them want to accept responsibility or be held accountable for their actions. Like they don't see nothing wrong. And for some of you guys, you feel like... No, y'all. Y'all don't. Y'all. Mm-mm. For some of y'all, and this for a small few of y'all, y'all feel like your life been cursed? Are you been cursed not to find the one that you was meant to spend the rest of your life with? Because for some of you guys, I am hearing that you're ready to be married. You're ready to settle down. But it's like you keep running into roadblocks. Okay? It's like you keep having to start over or make a U-turn. Okay? And with the light worker here, y'all, I definitely feel like y'all are psychics, okay? I have a daughter, um, and she's a Pisces. And when I say that thing be picking up stuff, she be picking up, y'all. And I'm trying to help her expand her gifts right now because she's a very strong empath, all right? So the light worker card says sensitivity, spiritual, old soul, nature, Calling, psychic, fearless, healer, teacher, strong manifester. So I definitely feel like spirit could be talking to you. Are you guys that re receive some divine information? All right, regarding a path that you was on. Sorry, y'all. Regarding the path that you was on, 
spirit, you had to make a U-turn here because for a lot of you guys, the path that you was on, it was leaving you very imbalanced, especially when it comes to your emotions. And I feel like, y'all, that's like your, um, what, what do they call it? Hercules heel? I think it's Hercules heel. It's your heart. And for a lot of you guys, you chose to walk away from this because the person that you was dealing with, I just heard Mary J. Blige, I'm going down. Somebody in your life was bringing you down. And I definitely feel like you've been illuminated to this. Okay. For some of you guys, you've been having a hard time speaking or talking. Um, are talking to this person. I'm looking at more expressing your truth. For a lot of you guys, I feel like your throat chakra had been shut down. Or you've been feeling like you haven't been able to express how you feel. For some of y'all, y'all are very, very shy. And I feel like spirit is calling you to break that. To step outside your comfort zone here. Spirit is also calling you guys to listen. All right. With this unable to listen card. Some of you guys, I feel like you haven't been tapping in to spirit. And spirit been trying to talk to you. For some of you guys, your ancestors have been trying to communicate to you some important information. But you're not listening. And I do feel like it's because you've been having a difficult time keeping your emotions balanced here. I just heard, can't keep running in and out of my life. Yeah, so somebody could be running in and out of your life. And you tired of this, y'all. Spirit, what else? We got, we got Taurus energy coming up. It came up in the reverse. So this is stubborn, jealous lazy, materialistic, possessive, rebel. For some of you guys, I definitely feel like you could have been dealing with somebody or for some of you guys, this is you. It's like you gave up or you was giving up it's like you didn't want to listen to what nobody else had to say. And it's like you rebelled. I'm seeing a rebel uh, energy here. You could have went through a rebel phase in your life where you didn't want to listen to what other people had to say. Or this person was, didn't want to listen to what other people had to say. I definitely feel like someone could have been going through a major depression here. Somebody is very stubborn and sod in their ways. And I definitely feel like there could be someone who's jealous of you. Or there's some type of jealous, jealous in, um, energy here. Okay. Okay, so we got the 3D card coming out in a reverse. And this card says ascending to higher consciousness. And the heart chakra says unconditional love. So I definitely feel like for some of you who's been focusing more on the materialistic aspects of life. All right. For some of you guys, you really just ready to see your income increase or your bank account increase. Or for that business to come up off the ground. And I feel like you're starting to let go and let God. All right. You guys are going within and healing your heart chakra. Because I do feel like a lot of you could have inner childhood wounding. You could have some trust issues because of how you've been treated. I definitely feel like you guys are going to be letting go and letting God. And you're going to be just work, working on balancing yourself. And balancing your energy. All right, so let's see, y'all. <clears throat> let's 
let's see. I mean, oh, 15 minutes. Dang. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Pisces. What's going on for the Pisces? Divine Holy Spirit. For oh, too many. Mm -mm. <laughs> What's going on with the Pisces for the month of September, Spirit? What else? What else, Spirit? What's going on with the Pisces? Anything else? get one more one more spirit one more for the Pisces for the month of September what else spirit oh spirit I said one more <laughs> okay all right the first card we got out is inspiration in carriage here this came out in the reverse I do feel like for a long time, you guys, you didn't really know what, what you wanted to do or you really didn't have any inspiration in your life to manifest what it is that you want. All right? You guys, you could still be going through this pro process here. I do feel like you guys are battling your shadow side at this time. Are you been balancing your you've been working on your shadow side? You could be doing shadow work. You could be doing candle magic as well. Okay, you really going within and listening to your heart. I do see y'all going to be healing y'all heart this month, okay? You're going to be listening with your heart as well. I do feel like if spirit has been trying to give y'all messages, that y'all going to receive it this month. And with the courage card here, you guys. I, I'm feeling like afraid. For some of you guys, you're afraid to start this new journey. You're afraid to open your heart. You're afraid to trust. Because I do feel like you done been let down before in the past here. But spirit is calling your soul. And I definitely feel like y'all are going to be trusting in spirit this month. We got to go with the flow. Look, y'all going to be going with the flow. You tired of going against those ties. You letting spirit take the wheel. All right. She ain't even doing nothing to that boat. That boat is, is going with the flow. It's going with the current. All right. She relaxing and she feeling the sun on her skin. Yes. Yes. I feel like a release. Something was a relief. I do. I feel like something heavy was on your chest. And you guys are going to be releasing it this month. It's like you didn't have the courage or the strength to do this. But spirit is going to do it for you. I don't know why, but... I just saw the willow tree off of Pocahontas when I saw this tree right here. So, Mother Willow, she's a very wise tree. For some of y'all, y'all ancestors is really going to be coming through with the come through this month. And y'all going to receive a lot of messages. It might benefit you guys to go to the park and sit by a tree. Even to be around plants. Okay. Yeah, we got plant the seed. This came up in a reverse. All right. There was something that you guys was doing or something was taking your attention off of yourself. For some of you guys, you could have been planting seeds in the wrong people, the wrong places. All right, I feel like spirit is going to be removing this from your life, okay? Because it's keeping you out of the flow, and a lot of you guys are ready to get back into the flow of life. Yeah, something wasn't growing here in the past, you guys. And I feel like spirit is going to be removing this. Spirit also want you guys to be careful where you plant your seeds at. 
okay don't be so quick to trust people like i know y'all for some of y'all y'all do have trust issues but spirit wants you to use your discernment when it comes to people okay and not rush into situations too quickly because right now i do feel like you guys are going through a healing phase let's see y'all we're gonna go ahead and jump into tarot let's see what's coming to y'all for the month of september spirit show me what i need to see what's going on with the pisces for the month of september divine holy spirit ancestors and spirit guides of the purest white light archangel michael protect me as i channel these messages archangel gabriel give me clear communication and show me what i need to see for the pisces what's the overall theme spirit for the pisces for the month of september give me one more spirit What's the situation, spirit? What's influencing this? What's the challenge? Hmm. What's the outcome, spirit? So the overall theme for this month, y'all, we got the Four of Wands, we got the King of Cups, and we got the Justice coming out in the reverse. All right. I do feel like if there was any injustice done or any unfairness done to you, somebody is going to be receiving some karma this month. All right. For some of you guys, this person was very manipulative i know the king of cups is in the upright but i am picking up on someone who is very manipulative here all right for some of them you guys they could have had got married you you could have found that this person was married this person could have had a lot of suitors but I definitely feel like there was someone who was playing games with you. If this is like a masculine energy, this person is going to be receiving um, karma this month. All right. With the four of ones, a lot of you guys, I definitely feel like this person could have been a soulmate or a twin flame here. I just heard wait for you. For some of y'all, this person wants you to wait on them or you want them to wait on you. This person could be going to jail, y'all, for some of them. All right? And I do see that some of these suitors were married. They were in a commitment with someone else. But this person done got caught up. I just heard it locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. This person could be getting locked up. For some of you guys, I'm hearing child support or regarding a child. Also, you guys, we got the King of Cups. So this is Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer here. All right. And with the Justice card coming up in the reverse, this could be a Libra. For some of y'all, y'all could have shared a home with this person. But with this ship, I'm paying attention to this ship right now. And it's red. This is a lot of passion, y'all. This person I did something that's going to end up getting them in a whole lot of trouble here. In a whole lot of trouble. I just heard jump ship. This person could have jumped shipped or they could have left you for someone else. Cups here for the overall theme. Why is the justice here for the 
overall theme. Hmm. Yeah, it's the, it's the, <laughs> this person is getting karma this month, you guys. Whoever took you through this. We got the Ace of Wands in, in Ace of Wands in the Wheel of Fortune coming out. I do see you guys moving to a new beginning, like a new start. For some of you guys, you, you're about to find a new passion or something that you love to do as well. This is a lot of fire behind this. A new adventure. Hobbies. Some of you guys are about to start new hobbies. All right, and with the Wheel of Fortune, I definitely feel like you got a lot of fortune coming towards you. All right. For some of you guys, you about to do something new. Are you about to start up something that you used to love to do? And this is going to bring you guys a lot of fortune. Not only I feel like it's going to bring you fortune in the physical world, but I'm seeing that this is very therapeutic when it comes to your emotions. Um, for some of you guys, I'm seeing dancing singing, painting, um, being very creative, building new things, working on something new, something that you're passionate about. For some of y'all, y'all about to meet someone. For some of y'all, y'all are about to meet somebody new here. And spirit is wanting you to go within and balance yourself now because I do feel like whoever you was dealing with in the past, this person took a toll on you, all right? This person caused you a lot of pain, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. I feel like this person took a lot out of you. Yeah. And y'all know with the Wheel of Fortune, this is all of the fixed signs here. This is Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. So y'all could be meeting um, one of those zodiacs as well. But I definitely feel like it's about to be a big turnaround in your life. Because the person you was dealing with in the past, they brought a lot of confusion here. They could have had a lot of options as well. Spirit. What else? Okay, so we got the world, and we got the eight of wands, and we got the nine of wands. Um, Y'all definitely got somebody that's going to be coming in towards you, okay? Something has ended in your life, and I do feel like this was a big cycle that you was in. And you got somebody new that's going to be rushing in, communicating to you. <laughs> that's not how it goes. I just heard, uh, I want to be your man. I want to be your man. Yes. Somebody is wanting to come in and they want to be your man, honey. <laughs> All right, Pisces. Y'all give yourself time to heal, okay? Spirit, who is this Nine of Wands? Who is this Nine of Wands here? Look. We got the six of ones coming out, you guys. This is victory, success. All right. This is somebody who know what they want. Okay. And I do feel like a lot of people could want this person. All right. They are very noble. This person, um, a conqueror. All right. I see a lot of people could be looking at this person, but this person only have eyes for you. Yeah. Spirit, what else? <laughs> they see the Ten of Cups with you. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love this energy. Oh my God. For the main theme of this month, I can't get out of the main theme. Y'all got a lot of powerful energy coming up for y'all. Spirit is about to bring something so abundant into your life 
this is a new chapter that you're about to start here. And I do feel like for, for a lot of you guys, you are going to be working on yourself, your self-esteem, your confidence, your uh, building yourself up. Because I do feel like whoever you was dealing with was tearing you down. They they made you feel like you wasn't enough. But whoever this person is finna come into your life, this person is about to put you on a pedestal. Okay? This person look at you as being they everything. Real talk. So, yeah, the situation this month, I do feel like you guys are going to be very guarded. Like I said, y'all guarding y'all hard because you done been through battle. You done been through a war. Emperor. Hmm. What else, here? For some of y'all, y'all are putting up strong, stronger boundaries, okay? It's not going to be easy to just come into your life. You putting up strong boundaries. You you planting strong roots. I feel like a lot of you guys, you have learned a lot from the past. Okay? Yeah. I see you guys being strong. We got we got the Emperor here, which is Aries, and a Death card. That's Scorpio. Yes, you guarding your happiness, your stability, your sanctuary. You guarding all of this. You guys, you don't put up some firm boundaries, all right? It's an end to whatever happened in the past. You don't put an end to this. You guys don't went through a complete transformation here. Spirit, what else? your ass watching you because they ready to come in and offer you a new beginning in love do you hear me i don't know who who you done caught i i don't know who this person is but you done caught they damn eye and this person can't get you off of their mind real talk i feel like if y'all um this person could watch you online all right for some of y'all y'all could work together or go to school together Okay, but this person is ready to come in and offer you the Ace of Cups. Yes. This person about to take a leap of faith, y'all. Okay, okay, Spirit. Um, what's, what's influencing this? We got the King of Wands, y'all. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. I'm picking up a strong Aries here. Whoever this person is, they know what they want and they go after what they want. They don't play about it. They don't play with it. This is also a leader, you guys. This is a warrior. This is somebody who done been through a lot. They done seen a lot in this world, okay? This person know a good thing when they see it because they got experience as well. But look, you guys, let's be careful. We got the Seven of Swords coming out here. Clarifying the King of Wands. Spirit, why is the King of Wands, why is the Seven of Swords here? Clarifying the King of Wands. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we got the Queen of Swords coming out, you guys. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. For some of you guys, I definitely feel like you could feel like this person is going to betray you too. All right, you you basing this off of what happened in the past. Okay, I definitely see you guys being very blunt with this person. And it's like, you don't even want to look at them really because you feel like, I just heard hypnotize. You don't want this person to hypnotize you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I do feel like you guys are going to be very blunt with this person, but I don't feel like they're going to be giving up. This person is looking back at you. This person is looking at you. All right, but you could feel like this person is going to hurt you. You don't trust them. And like I said, for some of you guys, you do have those trust issues that you need to go within and heal. Yeah, I see you guys with the hair thing coming up in the reverse. You're focusing on having more discipline and structure in your life. And you feel like this will be too quick for this person to come in right now. All right, because you're still working on yourself. You just went through a major betrayal already. And it's like, you know you're not ready yet. 
All right. You could also know that this person might need a little bit more discipline in their life as well. For some of you guys, you are paying, paying attention to this person, personality, the way they carry themselves, the way they act. You you paying attention to this. And you feel like this person might not be the perfect match right now. All right. But with the sun card coming out, this is the happiest card in the deck. I definitely see you guys healing your inner child. You're focusing on healing right now. So if this person come in your life, you could possibly put them in like a friend zone. And I see you guys analyzing this person. And you're going to put them in a friend zone until, you, until you're sure about them. All right. I definitely see you guys are going to be paying attention to the red flags. But whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest, I see you guys being happy this month. I do see this person giving you a lot of attention as well with this sun shining down on this baby. This person knows what they want, and I definitely feel like they're not going to walk away that easily. Spirit. Oh, y'all, we got the devil. Okay, spirit. Why is the devil coming out for the... Okay, y'all. We got the lovers in the reverse clarifying the devil. And we got the ten of swords. For some of you guys, you 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 left out of a very toxic relationship. And you're not ready to be tied down into another relationship right now. Okay? I feel like you invested so much. And a lot of you guys, you really you ready to put that energy into yourself. And with the Ten of Swords here, something done came to a complete end. And I feel like it's the way you think, all right? The way you think about relationships are, I'm seeing a mind over heart here. You guys are taking your time because you don't want to end up hurt the way that you were. For some of you guys, you are going to be meeting new suitors, but you're not going to be tying yourself down to no one. No, you're paying attention to the red flags. For some of y'all, y'all could be dating, but y'all not looking for nothing serious right now because you're trying to see who really gonna put in the work, who really, you know, look at you as being their lifelong partner. All right, you try you you analyzing here. You're not jumping into anything quick. Yeah, we got the seven of cups in the reverse. I definitely feel like you guys aren't trying to, you're not trying to give someone that much power over you anymore. Not right now. Mm -mm. The challenge, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see. Spirit, the Queen of Pentacles, that's Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit? And with the dev the devil out here, that's Capricorn. We had Virgo to pop out here. Um, this is the Hermit card here. The lovers, that's Gemini. Spirit, what else? What's yeah? I definitely feel like you guys are reflecting on um I just heard degrade. For some of you guys, you feel like the person in the past could have degraded you. Or you feel like you lost value. For some of you guys, you feel like you lost out. You could have lost a lot of money. Or you could be looking at how unstable life done been for you. As far as, as you investing in people. Something wasn't stable here, and you guys are reflecting on this. I'm definitely seeing like a, a imbalance in your emotions. Some of you guys, you could have weight issues. Not all of you, but some of you guys, I do see you, you overeat sometimes when you're emotional. But some of you guys, you don't eat good. Like you might, if you eat bad one day, the next day you might just drink water. You know, some of you guys, you can have weight issues here. 
I'm also seeing someone who don't have patience. For some of you guys, you could be looking at this or evaluating this this month. You feel like you should have had more patience. Are you you're looking at how you didn't allow yourself to be patient? All right. With the Knight of Pentacles here and the Fool. For some of you guys, you're going to be waiting on this stable offer. All right. And I do feel like you're going to be taking a leap of faith. You want to take your time, though. You want to move slowly. You don't want to just rush into things no more. Because whatever this was, it took a lot out of you. Spirit, what else? With the fool here, that's Aquarius. What else, Spirit? For the Pisces. What's going on for the Pisces, Spirit? Yeah, for some of you guys, you hated that you had to walk away from something here. You hated that someone could have left or something didn't work. You had to release something here. And for some of you guys, you've been in your head regarding this situation. At the bottom of the day, we got the three of pentacles. For some of y'all, y'all walked away from a partnership and you really loved and cared about this person, but you felt like this person wasn't bringing you happiness. For some of y'all, spirit removed this person from your life because some of them going to jail. All right. And the final outcome, we got the chariot in the reverse and the magician in the reverse. The chariot, that's a cancer. The magician, that could be a Virgo or a Gemini. I definitely feel like if you were dealing with somebody who was playing games with you, um, I see a lot of mind manipulation. This person played on your emotions. I definitely feel like spirit is putting a stop to this person. This person is not going to be able to come towards you. They're not going to be able to travel to you. For some of y'all, y'all done blocked this person. For others of you, spirit finna lock this person up in jail. Or they don't have a vehicle. All right? This person is not able to, I just heard, touch you. All right? Spirit, why is the chariot in the reverse? This one to come out. We got the Nine of Swords wanting to come out. This Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You could be wanting to talk to this person before it's too late. Or this person want to talk to you before it's too late. We got the Hangman. Hey this is Pisces. I feel like you guys could be in limbo or this person is in limbo on how to reach you or talk to you. Okay, but I feel like a decision has been made. Something something is fated to happen here. I just heard a stalemate. Spirit was interesting. got the high priestess coming out in a reverse you guys this is cancer energy whoever you was dealing with this person was not using their damn intuition they done got their ass into some trouble yes they weren't listening to their intuition they thought they could do what the fuck they wanted to do and spirit is about to lock that ass up or take care of this person they about to be removed from your life all right. Spirit, what else? Honestly, yeah, if there was some confusion around this situation, this is being removed from your life. Yeah, the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. You guys, I do feel like you could have been in a mental prison, but you've been you finna be removed from this as well. You finna be removed from this mental prison. Spirit is bringing clarity into your life. Let's see. What else? What's new? What's new? Let's see. Let's 
Yeah. I definitely, like I said, we got the Queen of Swords coming out here, you guys, again. Um, you guys are thinking more with your mind than your heart this month. You ain't got time for the bullshit. I see you guys, like, friends zoning people. Okay, baby. Okay. I see you guys really standing up for yourself, your truth, what you want for yourself, your life. All right, you're going to be cutting people out that don't serve your highest good here. Okay? With the Six of Swords in reverse, for some of you guys, you are having a hard time moving on from the past. But with the Two of Wands in, in the reverse, you guys know that this is not a good choice. All right? But I do feel like, you, I feel like you're still having difficulties moving on from this emotionally this month. But you got options. You got people coming towards you. And I just feel like you guys are going to be working on healing. All right. Yeah. With the seven of pentacles, I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting on the right one. All right. This is more of a waiting type of energy here. You're trying to see which one of those pinnacles are the right one for you. And with the seven of wands, you guys, you got your guards up. You're defending your heart and what you want. You're ready to grow something new, okay? And you don't need everybody in your energy. You see where that gets you. you you're taking your time and you're paying attention. You're paying attention here. Y'all definitely paying attention to the red flags. If y'all see red flags, y'all moving it out of your way. In the Ace of Wands, y'all going to have a good beginning. All right? Whatever it is that you guys want in your life, you're going after it. All right? You're going after what you love and your passion. I see that, y'all. I see y'all going to be happy. Two of Swords, y'all going to be making a decision. And the cards are just basically repeating themselves right now. You're making the decision to be happy and to go after your happiness. There's going to be a lot illuminated to you this month, okay? And the main thing that you guys are going to be focusing on is healing your inner childhood woundings, okay? You're going to let spirit guide you. Spirit is going to guide you all the way. You're trusting in yourself. You're going to be trusting in spirit. But all right, y'all. I like this. I like it. I like it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Spirit, tell me what I need to see for the Pisces. What do they need to know for the month of September, Spirit? <laughs> oh, y'all. Hmm. All right, y'all. So we got the, we got a castle here. I definitely feel like you guys, if you're, if you've been trying to buy a house, that you will be buying you a house soon. Some of you guys, you really just working on your queendom or your kingdom. I love this. It got a little heart on the top of it. All right. You're working on healing yourself and balancing your energy at this time. I'm seeing a lot of stability coming into your home. I'm also seeing partnership for some of you guys. Yes. And we also got the moon and the star here. Things are definitely going to be illuminated to you. And I definitely feel like you guys are divinely protected. All right. I'm looking at some very powerful women. Uh, some of you guys are very, very powerful. You're psychic. And I definitely feel like spirit communicates with you a lot. And for some of you guys, you're just starting to tap into your intuition, okay? We got a snowflake, y'all. Something gonna be coming to y'all in the winter time. Something big, something amazing, all right? And I feel like it's something that you really wanted. For some of you guys, I just heard you are the star. If you're working on a business, I definitely see it manifesting like big time in the winter time here. And then we got the key. Scorpio got the key. So I definitely feel like you guys, um, 
you done passed a major spiritual test and spirit is about to grant you access to what it is that you want in your life okay i see great things coming for y'all i love this yes y'all yes Anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed these messages. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring notification bell. And until we see each other later, I love y'all so much. Peace.